A ROM hack by uh, JD Aster 64, which serves as a it's a general uh, stat increase ROM hack that also serves to make the game slightly more balanced and difficult. So as a result, the game is it's like hard mode. Although I've been told it isn't actually too much harder. Hmm. So, this is either way. Mode? What? Well, it's a ROM hack that makes the game a little bit harder and more balanced. Okay, I heard that. I just had to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I need to perform a little bit better in battles than I normally would be able to. But what I'm showing off here is you control Mario and Luigi separately. You can even see in the HUD, hey, there's a B button hey. and an A button. You completely <laughs> missed the block back there! <laughs> oh, fudge, I missed some coins. Now you or can't get 100% even though you might have every item. You'll always have to remember that you missed that block. Hmm. I'm doomed. <laughs> fudge. I never did like the Koopa's helmet in this game. They're, looks like they're wearing like the Russian snow cap for helmets. Oh, that's a good observation. Seriously? I think the idea is they're like suited up for being in an airship, but yeah, they kind of... yeah. <laughs> they're wearing snow parkas and Russian hats. Uh, I think it's supposed to be the pilot kind of hat you used to see, you know, when people used to fly the old style airplanes. Oh yeah, it could be. Yeah, I guess that is a pilot's jacket, because the pilot's jacket's got the fur and then it's got the mm -hmm. aviator hat. Okay, fair enough. All right. So what we have learned is Mario and Luigi had passports that didn't have pictures in them, which I don't know how you get a passport without a picture. <laughs> so this Koopa True is going to offer us to take a picture, and he has important advice to tell us to not press any directional buttons and to stand completely still. Now why the hell would I listen to that? <laughs> is you getting your picture taken? <laughs> 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 The game's about to teach us something very fundamental. You press start, and it switches the order. Luigi's now in front and Mario's now in the back, which allows us to, you know, get Luigi up on the stand. And the Koopa Trooper here is like, hey, don't do goofy pooses, you idiot. Why would I listen to that? <laughs> yes, we are very, very happy. Let's take a look at our pictures. Aw, you closed your eyes, Mario and Luigi! <laughs> I could never play the whole game having to look at that every time I pause the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mario and, Luigi, <laughs> Mario and Luigi closed their eyes for their picture. <laughs> Alright. That reminds me of grade 9 when I blinked and I had to go for picture retake day. It sucked! Did your story involve a toilet in any way, shape, or form? I wish I could say it did, but unfortunately I don't believe so. <laughs> okay. Anyway, further up into the airship, we're actually going to get into some battling here. We break open that barrel, and then we see this one barrel, and it's like, oh, hey, take a look at this barrel, it's kind of shaking. And this Koopa Troopa here is like, hey, watch it, clumsy, wow, you broke a barrel. You're not monkeys. More importantly, we need to learn how to fight as a pair. Nah. Nah. I agree. So yeah, let's go ahead and just break this barrel. Oh, it's, um, I guess, an ambitious Goomba who wants to commit mutiny, and oh, look at this guy. <laughs> you started the battle anyway. We have to learn how to dodge, even though the game intuitively taught us how to dodge First when we bite fought Bowser. From the toad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, but this is one of my favorite parts about the game, where you get to control both Mario and Luigi at the same time. It makes yes. it a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Half of the fun of this game is seeing which Mario brother and its enemy will attack, learning their tells, and figuring out if you need to dodge with either Mario or Luigi. Some enemies will actually. <laughs> some enemies. 
<laughs> some enemies will actually attack both Mario and Luigi, and sometimes it won't be just at the same time, so you have to time their jumps differently. Nope. <laughs> it's those attacks that are probably the most difficult to dodge, but here we go! Yes! Awesome battle music! Get loose to this music! It's awesome music! Yes! Mm -hmm. But as should be really evident there, you can time your dodges in such a way such that you don't just dodge the attack, you also counter. Obviously, you're jumping on an enemy. <laughs> that may become really evident later on. But anyway, just to make sure we have combat proficiency at sea, the game gives us a couple of Goombas to fight, so... Right now, the only thing we're able to do is do a solo jump attack, and also we can use items if we really want to. And out of all enemies in the game, the Goomba has probably the easiest tell. <laughs> so, oh by the way, after two battles, we've reached level two. Yeah! <laughs> Fun fact about the original Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is that Mario level ups and Luigi level ups were slightly staggered, where Luigi would level up at a slightly Stash. later Stash. experience. Stash! No! <laughs> what do I choose? What do I choose? Power. What do I choose? Power! Stash! The more manlier your stash is, the better. <laughs> oh, 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 what am I gonna choose? What am I gonna choose? I chose HP. Yeah, that's my second choice, so whatever. Oh, stash. <laughs> but what I was trying to get to, Mario and Luigi level up at the exact same points in this ROM hack. Hmm. In this ROM hack? Good, because in, mm -hmm. in the original, they didn't. Yep, that's right, they were staggered to where Mario would always level up first, then Luigi. And frankly, Stupid. there wasn't really any point to that, so... No, there wasn't. It was retarded. You had the same battle experience, why wouldn't they level up at the same time? <laughs> well, because one got more powerful than the other, and then that was always your crutch. If you I powered forget up Mario too much, then Luigi became his weakling, and he always got taken out. <laughs> I forget if one of them dies, do they still get experience for that battle? No. 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 Okay. So yeah, it could end up balancing out if Mario screws up somewhere. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. Because if mm -hmm. one died, you, they would always be behind, and you have to run around and try to level them up. Mm -hmm. Battles in this game are fun. Battles are fun, yes, but the level not like you had to be level count. 100 to beat it or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This game is theoretically you could go through the entire game as level one Mario and Luigi. I mean, I guess you had couldn't because of these Goomba battles, <laughs> and the game forces you to level up just due to its forced battles. But theoretically, you could beat this game at a low level if you're good enough at dodging the enemy attacks, because you can go through this entire game without taking damage. The caveat to this is because we're playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Plus, which, as before, it slightly inflates the stats a little bit. Uh, later game stuff becomes excru <laughs> excruciatingly more difficult as you go on if you fail to level up Mario and Luigi. Which is to say, um, I'll be battling every enemy along the way so that I can stay at a proper decent level. So what we kind of glossed over there is, yes, there are first strikes in this game. Interestingly enough, your first strike always affects every enemy on the field. Mm -hmm. So either way, captured the Goombas for the one Koopa here, and he's happy. No more traitors! Yeah, there's not really any problem in this game about, you know, only not being able to hit enemies in the back. Either brother can hit either enemy, right? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> but there are some limitations later on, right? Because I seem to remember spikes being a problem later. Well, obviously if there's an enemy with a spike on their head, you can't jump on them. Uh, let me give you a hint, because the only thing we can do is jump. We're not going to run into any spiked enemies for a while. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I said later on. Mm -hmm. Later on, it does become an issue, and what attack you use will become important. But I'll get more into that as we proceed with the game. <laughs> I always liked the floating book. Mm -hmm. Then what does he use to erase that? It looks like he's erasing... It's only a credit card or cocaine and... I was like... <laughs> I don't know the name of the tool, it's just something that you swipe ink with. Huh. I would like to be elucidated on what that exactly that is. It's like a credit card. You write it back in. So, the Koopas have a brilliant idea. Oh, the crane pick you... Picked you up. Why don't we use you as a lookout? <laughs> oh. 
That's got to be really painful on, like, Luigi's body. <laughs> he obviously doesn't mind it. But those eyes are now popping out of his head, and his crotch is probably sucked up to his stomach. <laughs> probably. But guess who decided to say hello? Hey, it's the main bad guy, Crackletta. Banana head. Banana head. A flying she... rocking chair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the idea that she's supposed to be, you know, like an old grandma? <laughs> I want Desert. a flying rocket chair. That looks fun to ride. <laughs> then there's the flying helmet that's burning his ears off. Uh, say hello to her little minion. His name is Fawful. The better question is how a helmet would even keep you in the air. Like, what's attaching it to his head? Or her head? Suction cups. Uh. That, this, this guy always reminded me of those stupid joke teeth with the twined up things. I don't know what they're called, but he was like... Yeah, one of those... You know what I'm talking about? The teeth that clacked and on your desk. I have a theory that Fawful has been homeschooled by like a cook or someone like that because he uses food analogy as another weird terminology all over the place. But let's start a battle! There we go. Smooth sailing so far, just some jumps. So, Fawful teaches us enemies have tails. Can you guess what Fawful's tail is? <laughs> It should be really obvious, but guess what? Just in case you're an idiot, Bowser crawls over to the other side and is like, Hey, do you, do you want to see this? what this guy's tell is? And I'm like, no. Thankfully, Bowser is just like, well, have it your way. <laughs> so, someone elucidate me. What was Fawful's tell? You'll see the star in the background? It's red? That means he's going to, he's, that means he's going to attack Mario. <laughs> <laughs> or his text? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, we just have to go a couple of rounds here, and we'll be able to take out Fawful pretty easily. But this is a pretty good battle that actually, you know, gets you into the gist of battles. I'm pretty confident you can't lose this battle. Like, you just have enough health to where it's impossible to lose. Like, you see, I mistimed my jump there, and I only took a single damage, and I'm pretty confident those bolts only do 1 to 2 damage, so... We're not under any real danger yet. There we go. I believe another attack or two, and he should be finally taken out. Yep. Because you can speak in red text and green text, Fawful. <laughs> I wonder what my red text... Oh, my gosh, wow. <laughs> He's a very furious guy. Sadly, we don't have control over Mario and Luigi, so we can't, like, jump over these. I think we got some more, uh, bigger problems on hand here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that big, giant, nice Koopa Cruiser that Bowser got- Oh, it's now all gone. I hope Bowser has insurance on that thing. It just <laughs> blew up. Could you imagine having to go to your insurance engine and just going, My car blew up. <laughs> I don't think he even had it insured, that's the problem. Ouch! What if you had a loan on it? <laughs> that would explain how Bowser gets all this crap so quickly. <laughs> He's millions of dollars and mushroom coins and debt. Oh, that's a great theory. Who's gonna come after him? Fair point, yeah. Creditors? Mario Bowser's Brothers? in the exact same situation a lot of countries are after, where they're billions and trillions of dollars in debt, but who's gonna stop them? <laughs> anyway, a very important thing about this game I'm showing off right now. When Mario and Luigi are not at the same level, because they kind of have to stay attached to each other, um, you're kind of stuck in place. Ah! See, that, <laughs> that guy even indicates, oh, um, we didn't finish paying that off. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, they had a loan on it. <laughs> Lucky guesser. Uh-oh. 
So we actually landed in the Mushroom Kingdom, but thankfully we are right next to the border. So, believe it or not, we can just go right into... Well, I guess this would be Customs, and if we can just pass Customs, we'll finally be in the Bean Bean Kingdom. But... Security force. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, to pass Customs, we have to do the Border Jump. Welcome to one of very, very, a lot of minigames in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga that play off the fact that Mario & Luigi both have their own button that you use to control them. This one's not too terribly bad, although, um, then again I am playing the very first minigame, just the one across the border. These guys have other, like you can go back to them and play the border jump again, and they'll move around more erratically and in weird patterns. And Yeah, I, I would not recommend going back to see them unless you like being frustrated and throwing your yes across the border or Game Boy Advance. I will have to go back to them because they offer you stuff for passing their border jump game on the harder the levels. Hmm. Yeah, good, good luck mm -hmm. with that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I made that mistake. It was my last mistake. It seems vaguely familiar. Ugh. Anyway, welcome to the bi- oh. oh. Guess what? Ever since those guys got hired, we were the first people to cross the border. <laughs> Either they are interns, and this is like their first couple of days, or their ridiculous game has prevented people from crossing the border for long times. <laughs> they gave us a map. And as you can see, we are in Stardust Fields. And there's a pipe here, actually. Oh look, a pipe! <laughs> I guess plumbing isn't just something that is, like, a mass massive thing in the Mushroom Kingdom, it's also pretty massive in the neighboring kingdom, the Bean Bean Kingdom. I want to see the Mario equivalent of the Mario Brothers. Uh, we'll actually be... I shouldn't say anything further about that. We're gonna learn something really important here. You need to jump with both Mario and Luigi to go over the spikes, or else they go, oh no. <laughs> The idea is if you just jump with Mario, Luigi gets caught behind, and then you can't move forward any further, and then you land on the spikes. So does that that's do damage? No good. It does not. <laughs> Alright, there's a couple of enemies here, but I'm actually going to save that for the next part on this Let's Play of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga Plus, where we're going to venture around along the border of the Bean Bean Kingdom here in the Stardust Fields. Ooh. So join me for that. Anyway, this has been Miles Luigi. And the Evil Pop-Tart. And Higsby. See you then.